Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So the internet has been on a chill peel since we all saw firsthand the assault of Cassie Ventura by Sean Diddy Combs. Guys, that God wrenching video has left a distasteful taste in the mouth of everyone and you can't deny this clip like no matter how much you want to ride with Didi, you just can't deny this. It's deplorable, it's despicable about what Cassie had gone through in her 10 years relationship with Didi. This is just one footage we saw. Perhaps there were many more things that the young lady endured all this time and she tried to tell everyone but some people thought she was faking, she was reaching but now we just can't deny it a lot of people have been talking about this since the release of the video both celebrities fans and non-celebs everyone is talking about this currently a letter that Ventura's husband wrote a while back about men who display violence against women have been circulating again. We're going to take a look into what Cassie Ventura's husband has said because for sure we know that since their relationship and marriage, she must have shared her painful ordeal to her husband who has been very supportive and loving to her all this time. So we're going to take a look into that later but first go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to not miss more updates on this story and other celebrity relationship gist. And please do like this video, it does help our channel, thank you. So you guys, since Cassie Ventura escaped Didi, she had been in a relationship, in a marital relationship to her personal trainer, Alex Fine. Cassie and Alex Fine had two kids together, Sonny and Frankie. Since settling into their relationship and tying the knot in 2019, Cassie and Alex Fine have built a tight-knit family together. So with a new light and revelation that has been shared on the Cassie Didi's case, Cassie's husband Alex Fine shares a letter he previously wrote about men being violent and physically abusive to women. He shared the letter after footage of Didi assaulting Cassie in 2016 has resurfaced online. He titled the letter, Letter to Women and Children, Men Who Hate Women Aren't Men, Men Who Enable It and Protect Those People Aren't Men. As men, violence against women shouldn't be inevitable. Check your brothers, your friends, and your family. Our daughters, sisters, mothers, and wives should feel protected and loved. Hold the women in your life with utmost regard. Men who hurt women hate women. To all the survivors, find the men and women who help and love. To all the survivors, your stories are real and people believe you. To all the survivors, you are not alone and there are men and women who care only for your well-being and safety. We want you to succeed and flourish. To all the women and children, I'm sorry you live in a world where you are not protected and you don't feel equal. I want to raise my daughters in a world where they are safe and loved. To the abusers, you're done, you're not safe anymore, you're not protected anymore, the men by your side are just as weak. You're so miserable with yourself that that would be considered a kindness. Alex Ryan will share this letter with a caption that says, wrote this a while back, but the words ring true, not just today, but every day. I want my kids and every kid to live in a world that's safe for women and girls. Protect them and treat them as equals. To the women and children, you're not alone. You're ahead. If you need help, call the domestic violence line. 8007997233 and that also goes out to y'all if you need help you can call that number as displayed on the screen right now this is really sad and i'm just glad that cassie found someone who is very supportive through her very rough patch and experience again i'm glad that she has a partner or husband who is supporting her. I know there are those who will feel like, well, spare me the moral compass when you all accepted his money. But with everything that she had gone through, a little bit of his money is nothing. And the most important thing is that they brought it to light. And since she spoke up, we all knew his time was up. So a little bit of, of that is deserved for them, if you ask me. For all the suffering is deserved. And also there are those 
people with the school of thought that Cassie is not a victim, considering the fact that she stayed. That man had so much money, power, influence. She probably would have been scared for her life to leave. We all saw firsthand why she stayed. She tried leaving just the hotel room. And we all saw what happened to her, the control, the audacity, the, the, the feeling of ownership that he he displayed over her is deplorable. So, I mean, we're not in her shoes. We cannot exactly judge her. Yes, perhaps she also stayed for the lifestyle. It's one of those things that predators use over their victims. They make them feel like you can't live a life outside of all this you have experienced. And that's why they keep buying them gifts and all of those things to keep them bound. And so they can't leave. But there's a point in a man's life where one has to look past those things and think about their safety, their mental health, and their health in general. Because there have been allegations of Didi drugging her and, you know, it was affecting her. She was losing her memories. For a young lady, it, it's, it's crazy, y'all. But that's the update on Cassie's case. There are more updates coming, you guys. Make sure you have your bell turned on as we'll be sharing some celebs that have publicly shared their opinion after seeing the footage, like Cedric the Entertainer and Slim Talk's apology to Cassie after riding the Diddy. Y'all, more updates coming, so make sure you have your bell turned on. And you guys, share your thoughts in the comment section about what Cassie's husband had to say in his letter and your talk generally on this story. And that's it pretty much in this video, you guys. Thank you for watching. If you got to this point, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe again. And until the next one, remember to pray, walk out, walk smart, and slay. Bye-bye. <laughs>